go to Implied Chicken. Right there, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. Well, hold on there, I'm a friend. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. I really need to, need to get to Vault 87, you know the way? You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. Monsters? What monsters? The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. So, you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Who are you? I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight, because they made me the mayor. And I don't like strangers or mungos. Mungos? What is this place? This is Little Lamplight. We live here and we don't need no mungos messing it up. So just take a hike. Tell me more about li Little Lamplight. Why would I tell you anything? God, you're dumb. RJ, can I come in? Hell no! No mungos allowed! Oh, come on, I'm a nice guy, really. May I please come in? Well, okay, but you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. Hmm. I'd like I have anything else to do. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah, right. me too. Uh, Little Amplite. I didn't even guess that uh, this was going to be a. I don't know. Way to. Someone with. Hey, Lucy. who are you? What are you doing in here? Hey, I'm Matt Greasy. Let me in. I don't want to cause any problems. If you convinced RJ that you're safe, I guess I'll go along. But if you do start trouble, you'll regret it. I'm Lucy, the doctor here. That means I handle the funerals, too. So much as look at a kid the wrong way, nice. and I'll be seeing you again. Uh, will, uh, can I get some medical treatment? Maybe you should have been more careful down here, Mungo. You're on your own. Mungo? Eh, uh, really need, need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask the mayor if you really want to know. How do you keep healthy here? There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle. So, we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either, so we get by. The only, the only doctor in this whole place? Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know? But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her, but she's got a steady hand. 
Of course, now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. Sounds like it's pretty useful fungus. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamp lighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out, but he'd have to say it was okay. I need to know for now. Well, until you come asking for a bandage at least. Can you give me directions though? Well, where to? You have a trader in town? There's a souvenir shop just north of the entrance. That's where Knickknack sells whatever else we can't use. Check there. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Well, let's you get back to work. Thanks. Hopefully, it'll just be skin, knees, and bloody noses today. All right. Well, interesting developments. Journal of Cherry the Lang the Lenny, two. Okay. Um. Tubing. Inch. Oh, your entrance. Here as well. So we see. Uh, right. So, from what I understand, from a bolt eighty-seven, this is where all of these units come from. At least that's what I've been led to believe. Hey. What hey. Not? Are we letting Mungles in now? Didn't hear a scuffle. So I'm guessing you're some sort of guest? So, what's so cool about you, Fancy Pants? Must be a pretty good reason for you to get let in, see? May I let me in and not hear the Chris any trouble? Always good to hear, but not even any fun trouble? Even a little? See, I collect a lot of stories, and sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. A bit of fun trouble is always good for morale. More owls better than less owls, see? You said you're in charge of morale. What does that mean? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam! Jokes! Want to hear one? Sure. You want. Prepare to be amused. Knock, knock. I'll go along with the jokes, I suppose. Who's there? Noah. <laughs> hey, that's good. I was just gonna say, Noah, a place where I can get some food. That was, um, really funny. Gee, thanks. I have to admit, most of them aren't really funny. At least not ha-ha funny. They're more like a tradition. Most of them were passed down from this book we found down back, called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? Yeah. How don't you come up with new jokes or stories to tell? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. But we don't really get a lot of news stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden. So they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. 
I tr I'd rather tell, I should tell you. Oh, really? Tell me about it. <laughs> Long ago, my people were buried away. I have arisen to terrorize the wastes. Not long ago, my father left me, so I went searching for him. So you're like a three-legged dog, then? Looking for your lost paw? <laughs> anyway, what happened next? Mr. D8 of the Brotherhood of Steel, my heroic adventures. They work for you? Wow, they must think you're the most important Mungo in the wastes. So what happens next? Tell you more, but I'm still watching on how it ends. That makes sense, I suppose. A good story can take a while to put together, you know. Why are you called Not Notch? Well, when people started calling Nikki by his new name, I needed one too, see? If you're twins, it just doesn't cut it to be called Nick Knack and Sue. Alright, I have to go now. Okay, bye. Bye. Um. Hey! Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. I'm sure if you got the adult sized stones to stop me. I'm not planning on installing any trouble. Good! Better stay that way, Mungo. How do you keep this place organized? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy. And I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me, make sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. How do you get to be in charge of this place? It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. That everyone has to leave eventually. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungo's living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in Lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown ups outside. I need to know for now. About time. I've heard a lot about the fungus in your cavern, and I'd like to make a deal. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. Yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Give me the fungus or I'll seal this place underground and you with it. You must think I'm stupid or something. I'm not falling for any of your tricks. And we didn't need its supplies, and I get some of the fungus in return. Sure, right. And we'll just trust you to bring us plenty of clean food and medicine, not try to poison us and move in on your own. No, no deal, Mungo. This is our fungus, and we haven't gotten enough to share with freaks like you. All right. And uh, can you give me directions? What do I look like, your tour guide? You're around, my greedy. Yeah, that's greedy. Nice. Scram. Hey, well, it's a. Come on, I tell you. What's That's that? not notch, right? Oh, bitch's here. This is Rex. Oh no, this is Hooligan. Uh, 
Enters Great Chamber. I like how this is written. Little souvenir. I'd like to see the souvenir. Cool place. Honestly. Best room. Great chamber. I had not knocked. Knickknack. Uh, door. Whoa, oh. wow, are we letting Mungo's in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So, who are you, and how'd you get let in? <clears throat> you may let me in. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Again. In that case, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Why are you called Nick Knack? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect Nick Knacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? Let's trade. I hope you brought me some cool stuff. Uh, it depends on what you have. Old chap mine. Yeah, I won't. Come again. I should have more stuff soon. That's all for me. Come on back when you got more stuff to trade. Yeah. I will. Time. Let me see. I think it's a notes. Um, Alex for old chap mine. Need to work bench to find lunchbox, air bomb, module, and bowl chap. Keep an easy. Stuff explosive. Old chap mine. That's a surprising change to batch. Going into the trees right now. So it seems from Zodio Locks as to these entries that uh, it was a class. Hey. It was a class and were parents, I think. Yeah, they were parents, it's uh teachers um yeah of course 82 students it seems and uh we're not harmed by the bombs uh, the 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 kids were scared know what to do and some people left and for a while um, they try to go outside. I mean, some people try to go outside to search for them, but they never came back. So, uh, it's uh, crazy for the kids, but at least now I know why. Just hope that uh, they are going to be okay. The remainder of. Uh,
the remainder of that uh, little experimentation. Hey, little lamp lighter. Mungo, mungo smells like dungo. Mungo, mungo smells like da dango. Wow. This is built to the great chamber. This is murder pass, it seems. Watch it. Knock knock. Um let's see. Incest. What the hell is RJ thinking? Letting a damn mongo like you in here. So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, mongo! <laughs> Don't work for anyone. Give me any trouble, and you'll regret it. Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm Princess, and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, mongo! Is it like guarding the bad gate? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Why would you have shot at me? <laughs> could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mongo face. How did someone like get a nickname like Princess? I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. I'm leaving the back to the draw then. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. Well, they do seem to have a lot of enthusiasm when it comes to when it comes to uh, talking to grown-ups, adults. You're big. Yeah, the bigger mongo. Did you know? Wouldn't you know that? Uh, yeah, big mongo is me. Try my best to remain a good mongo, even though you are trying my patience with all these uh, accusations that I'm some sort of uh, a bad guy. Food. This night. Hello. Claire? Okay. RJ had better have a good reason to let you in. Because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food and screw us over. Uh, the mayor and me are not planning on causing any trouble, and don't make me laugh. I don't give a damn about your food. Oh, great. Maybe next he'll take in a death claw or something. He can make it the town mascot. Yeah, well. Anyway. My name's Eclair, and yes, I take care of the food here. Don't expect any scraps from our table. Where do you get food for this place? Honestly, when we can't scavenge some from outside, we mostly scrape it off the walls and skim it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. It's not so bad when you get used to it, and we don't have much choice. At least it's filling, so we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible. Where does the fungus come from? It's pretty hard to find. And I hear it doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves. Ugh. 
Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever. Doesn't take any work to get it to grow down here. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. How does the fungus grow? They say the fungus grows in the pools where the first lamplighters dumped the mungos. That's about the most they ever helped us. I don't know how true that is. But I know sometimes the scav team comes back with this strange meat. It tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Of course, McCready'd have to okay it. I need to know for now. Sure. Why are you called Eclair? Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when I was on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I'll try them out. Hello, Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. I'd like some food? Sure thing, Mungo. We don't have much to spare, so get ready to pay. Fine. Fruit. Wow. Fruit. Uh, I'm, uh, I'll let you get back to the food then. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any tastier. Anyway. What's fruit? Cave Hundus. Ooh. He's like in stage without any harm to anyone. What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? Put your ball that great chamber. Bullion. Mongo, Mongo smells like Dongo. All right, all right. Fair enough. Those. from here veneers all right makes sense as a door okay um oh, not uh the mayor said it's okay oh. for you to be in here right yeah. because mongos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so so are you an okay mongo because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? <laughs> no, no, I'm not here trusting the problems. So don't need your gun. Oh, that's good because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. That reminds me, got any Nuka Cola? Because if I'm not going to have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more Nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that because I'm not made of metal. But I do go up and down, I guess. You talk really fast, so why are you called Zip? Why Zip? Well, why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky, or Yancey, or Eustace P. Vanderbagger the Third? I mean, they say it's because I'm so fast. But that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just that they're all slow. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that'll never really get answered. Sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka Cola. Say, got any cola? And it says you were looking for Nuka Cola, right? Yeah, more Nuka's always good. It's definitely always gooder than less. Because no Nuka's no good at all. Got any Nuka for me? I'll trade you whatever I got for more Nuka Cola. Anytime. Nuka for zip. Nuka for zip. What did you? What have you got to trade for a nice cold bottle of Nuka Cola? Last time I was out looking, I found some of this moot fruit. It's not as sweet as Nuka, but maybe you mongos like that sort of thing. 
Sounds, sounds like a good trade to me. Here. Thanks. Nuka for me. Right away, you stay here. Away from me. Okay. See you next time, mister. Great shame. What is this place? I was instructed to begin with. Scrap metal. All this scrap metal I can get. End it. Where's the way to um? What's it called the vault. What should I do to get there? There's a book next to it. He's a rifle. Seems like um have to investigate a bit. Hello. Hello, Dewey. I'm Dewey. Welcome to Widow Wampwite. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scav team, so I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my Wazer Wifo? Five hundred caps, and it's all yours. Five hundred traps for laser rival. To what? Bye now. Is that is that done any good? I like think it is. Yeah. What's it called? The Wazer Rifle? The Wazer Rifle. That's a neat name. Hello. Well done. Hello, mister. You all regret this, but how did you get your nickname, Billy? Nickname? This is what it's are you truly Billy. About? I have to go now. Bye bye. I'm sure it's Billy. Could be wrong, but I could also 
Fights. Traffic lights. Things like. Hey, Joseph. Well, now here's something new. What's a grown-up like you doing in Little Lamplight? Don't tell me when McCready's going soft on us. <laughs> I'm new, just used to me. I'm Joseph, and around here, I might as well be the old wise man. Try not to interrupt Masses. my classes, and I think we'll get along just fine. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching, but I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. If you're looking for a haircut, feel free to ask. I'll do what I can. What sort of education do the cheats get in here? Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet, and a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes for basic schooling, reading, basic math, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. Okay, so what do you teach the kids? Mostly whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here, but it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. How thorough are your materials? We entered all of the books and holotapes into the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the Wasteland. Maybe the only school in the Wasteland, really. No, for now. Glad I could help. I can you give me directions? I should be able to do that. Looking for Volt 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass. Murder and pass. we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. Alright, okay, that's enough. Okay. I have to go now. Stay sharp. Eat. Alright. Lots of dungeons there. Easy to get lost here. Beast. They won't have any problems with the outside world. Pink. I think that's the entry to the vault now. Oh, door to reactor chamber. Average. Terminal is not powered. Not cannot be picked. Why is a key to open? This is not, um, how is this is the power chamber? So it's not something with the entry level. At least it seems. But they say nothing, nothing because it's surely something that should load. If it's not uh, right hands, then these kids would die for no reason because of that. Bed. Intact garden note. This place seems 
Ability. So. Chap mine. I do. Uh, each bomb, sensor module, need a lunchbox. Each above, I still need um, a lawn mower blade, pilot light. I have to find these materials in order to. Get weapons ready. I want to go. Sip. You have any Nuka Cola? Even just a bit? Can I have some? Be your best friend. On it, totally. Not even kidding. Because you were looking for Nuka Cola? Yeah, I got lots to trade. But you got no Nuka? You're not getting nothing. No way. No way. Okay. See you next time, mister. I think it's higher. Honestly, the fact that they've been able to secure, how should I say, not secure, but preserve intact place so long in their kids, they have a impressive to be honest. I came from here. Yes that uh all right all right dog hey how are you i'm fine it's another fine day underground um okay yeah goodbye now So I know that the only way um bolt seven is um murder pass. Watch it. Hey. Whoa, I've never seen a mungo so close. Are you a raider or a slaver or a mutant? Cause if you are, I'm supposed to go hide, cause I'm too young to use a gun yet. I'm a terrible monster, come to eat you up. Not any of those. I'm a vault dweller. At least I was when I was your age. Did you live in the old vault below? I thought nobody lives down there now because it was full of monsters. Mayor doesn't let us go down there because when they went, they didn't come back. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. Why do they call you a bumble? It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says... I still got a lot of growing to do. Right, right. Bye bye, Bumble. Bye bye, Vault Dweller. Watch it. So, uh, is there a way to get through that? Well, look who's here. What's up, Mungo? I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. 
Okay. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. Adorable <sighs> kids, aren't they? They are. Hey. Yeah, the cream of the crop. Those. Need hey. to go see uh, this guy. Hey, excuse oh, me. Hey. Where is he? Into Vault Eight Seven. his name where is he hey hey At least the dogs help them. They are in a hey. dire situation. The bumble is here. There, right? Is meat. Need to find. Don't know where he is exactly. to look everywhere just for a chance to uh, have a way to enter vault 87 but they didn't close this door here be bad for them. No one is uh, no one is patrolling around the area. That means that wh whichever raider or people that uh, come through there is only going to attack them. The zip, right? Yeah. Oh, hey, excuse me. Hey. Um, where is he? All oh, this looking around just for a chance to be the mayor. Lucy. I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Eh, uh, I have to do it now. Later. Later. Watch it. Punch me? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, girl. Oh, there you are. I really need to get to Vault 87. You know the way. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. You know the way to get there. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. That's the only way? The only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. 
computer's busted, and not even Joseph can make it work. Where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. I want to use murder pass to reach Vault 87. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. I'll talk back. I'll, I'll talk to, to Joseph, Joseph about uh, the key to that power source. Watch it. Watch it. Stutch teams. All the things I can do for you. Nice that you're scripted, but still. <laughs> that my, my game crash was so funny. Hey, why are you still pestering me, you moron? See you around, that pretty. Not for a while, I hope. Right, it's time. <laughs> 